more. Why not? Uh, hi. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to talk about CSS pranks, JS conf, I know, but CSS pranks. Uh, you used to, I don't even know if I'll need the whole five minutes here. Uh, there used to be a really cool way that you could do this in Chrome. There was a file called custom.css. And if you open that file and you put CSS in it, uh, it would apply that CSS to every single website uh, that this person went to, which was an awesome way to just kind of mess with them and mangle with them. Um, but that was eventually deprecated. Um, but you can now pretty much build a small extension, add the CSS into it, install the extension on any anybody who's really kind of unsuspecting, and if they've just left their computer open, you can kind of do that. Um, it used to be funnier because in custom CSS, it would apply to all the settings and, and, and everything like that in the browser. So sometimes it was really confusing to kind of turn things off. Um, but yeah, so once you kind of enter this point where you can enter CSS into anybody's page, you can really start to kind of mess with some people. Uh, so here's a really, really simple example. Uh, if you put grayscale 100% on everything, everybody's websites are going to be black and white. And it's just every single thing. You're, you're looking at Google images, anything like that. It's black and white. And the, the key, I think, to messing with people is subtle fuckery rather than full-blown unusability. Uh, if you rotate the page just by a tiny, tiny amount, it's going to look normal at the start. This is my old website. But as they start to scroll down, it's going to start to get weirder and weirder and weirder. Here's my, my current website, for example. You can do that to every single website that somebody visits. And they're just, I guess you just got to kind of start to tilt your head, something like that. Uh, this is another kind of funny one, is, is kind of trying to take advantage of class names that are used by a lot of websites. So here's a keyframe animation that will, that will spin something. Um, if you apply that to the class logo, the ID logo, logo images, logo image, uh, every site is start, gonna start to have a logo that kind of spins around. Here's CodePen, yeah, there's Google. Uh, if you do this to somebody, again, it doesn't really give them enough reason to think, what's going on here, I need to fix this. They'll just say, oh, have you noticed that the logos are spinning on a lot of websites? It's just a trend, just a design trend. Um, yeah, you can change every, every link, make it hot pink. Uh, there's, there's TweetDeck, another one. Ah, oh, it's for breast cancer. Who doesn't even, yeah. Uh, there we go. This is, this is uh, something that you can do that's kind of really messing, is uh, make a keyframe animation that rotates the hue of things. So when you do that, uh, this is just an image. You can kind of start to see that it really slowly changes and turns. And that'll be every image on every website uh, that these people go to. And if you really want to mess with them cleverly, you make it over a minute long, the animation. So it's just really not something that they kind of notice, but you, you can tell it really messes with their brains. Um, just make every transition really, really slow on every page. Make it important. If they're doing any animations, everything is going to run for three seconds. Uh, and then you can mess with just like obnoxious.css that I kind of showed in my talk. Uh, you can just have all their fonts kind of go crazy, but you will actually send somebody insane by doing that. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Chase. <laughs>